for fast, cheap, and reliable Madden 23 Ultimate Team coins. Make sure you guys check out my sponsor, Buy MMOG. Use code VENOM at checkout for 5% off. Yo, this guys, Venom Fire here back on the video, and today we're going to be hopping into another Madden 23 gameplay. Today we're going to be running the gun tight flex formation on offense. This is in the run and gun offensive playbook. So we're going to be running run and gun on offense and Kansas City on defense, and we're just going to go through a gameplay uh, and hop into how to run this offense. I'm going to be using Denver today. It looks like we are facing Jacksonville. I think I actually used Jacksonville in my last gameplay, so interesting. But yeah, we're going to be running this tight flex formation. And uh, yeah, overall, what you can do if I... I guess you can't. I thought you could go four wide receivers. I'm tripping though, but setting up our audibles, I want to replace this draw. Is there any other run plays? There is a read option. Now you have bench switch. Is there an actual bench? I like actual bench better. Then we'll leave PA read in there and we should have some other really good plays. You see, we have things like wide receiver corners, um, halfback option on the right there. So we're going to take a timeout, but you have some really good plays there, and this is a pretty unique formation. You don't see a whole lot of people running it, as well as this playbook. So overall, you see things like wide receiver corners, PA slot options. So just a nice, you know, array of plays that we got, and we're going to take full advantage, hopefully, in this game uh, with how we run it. So uh, yeah, so I like using these unique playbooks. If you watch me for a while, you know I always drop some format or some videos in these cool formations um, and cool playbooks. And let's just go with the read option to start things off. I need to put Javante in. Looks like we don't actually have a read guy, so we're just gonna hand it off straight up the middle. Nice blocking, boys. Um, our goal in this video is to not look like the Denver Broncos in real life. So if we can do that, we will be pretty successful, I would say. Um, so, uh, no offense to any Broncos fans, but. Here we got a nice little check down to Judy. You cover three, you easily hit that flat. So um, now I'm not sure the motioning out is the best in this playbook or this formation rather, which is probably a little bit unfortunate, um, but you know, it's manageable. Of course, you'd like some better motion. Maybe you're able to motion snap Judy, but you cannot motion snap Sutton. I'm not sure if you can motion snap Hamler. So we'll try that. Yeah, I guess you can't actually motion them out. But, um... Holy crap, that should have been a pick. Um, that was a terrible read. I tried to throw it, like, earlier, and then that was just... That was just a weird play, honestly. Um, I thought I could motion Hamler out. I couldn't. I was forced to snap the ball. I think I had the tight end open, and then somehow we caught, caught that ball. He was open, and then the corner was over there. I couldn't tell if he was being defended or not. But... Um, yeah, let's go with some quick bench here. And this is the first time I've looked at this formation as well. So there we go. A little check down to Sutton. Throwing a lot of tight passes, so <laughs> probably should clean that up a bit. Now you can flip your formation for tight. It shouldn't matter as much. Uh, and since it's a read option, not like a base, you should be good to really do that at will. This might be some man coverage. Let's see what he's going with. There we go. Nice little wheel route to Judy. It's one of my favorite routes. Just a simple, I don't know what's happening in the football, but one of the little simple motion out wheel routes, you throw it immediately and it should be pretty open. So able to take advantage right there. I'm going to try and hit KJ Hamler here, maybe see what we can do. Check it down to Judy in the flats. Again, we're just making smart plays besides that one throw and you know, just trying to set ourselves up in manageable situations, I think is the best way to run this offense. You know, you don't want to be in these third longs. You want to take the yards when you can. He is in these heavy formations, so running the ball is a little bit tougher. Here we go, Melvin Gordon in the flat. He's gonna be able to pick up a first down. One of the best routes in this game is just that quick snap wheel route. We're able to take full advantage right there. Let's get Javante back in since he is a little bit better. I do wish there was a base in here. That is one 
sore spot of the offense. He's going to pause. It's, I'm not sure why he's pausing. Maybe he has to go to the bathroom. Who knows? But it seems like always in these kind of uncut gameplays that I post, people are just pausing. Um, let's talk about how the Cowboys took that dub last night. Yes, sir. Two and one, baby. I, you know, if looking at the first three games of the season, you said we were two and one. I would definitely take it. So, yeah. Um, also, I'm gonna be start working on that ebook. I just need to find a site that the best site available that lets me set up like a payment plan and all that stuff. But I am gonna be working on that Gun Bunch ebook for you guys. Trust me, it is in the works. So hopefully we have that within the end of the week. And yeah, a lot of you guys expressed interest when I mentioned it a couple days ago in that video or two videos ago, not a couple days ago, but yeah, a lot of you expressed interest. So that is something that I definitely would want to execute for you guys. So let's see if we can get this read option going. I am sad that you can't motion out Hamler in this spot, but let's see what we can go. Javante, get in there. Whew. It's a big back right there. That's why we get the running back. I don't know, one of the best running backs at breaking tackles in the league. Dive into the end zone, and there we go. We go up 7 0. Not the best first drive. We definitely could clean some stuff up, but overall, we get in the end zone. That is the goal. And yeah, we made some nice passes. I don't think I threw it, thrown an incompletion yet, so we'll take it. Um, definitely a better drive than the Broncos had all of, um, besides that one game winning drive, all of that Sunday night game. So we'll see what we can do on defense. It is interesting to see. I'm not sure that he had a clear cut scheme defensively. It looked like he was switching around in some stuff, but he was kind of staying in the same formation. So he probably has an idea of what he's doing. Um, with Jacksonville, it'll be interesting to see. Our defensive line should win most of these matchups. So we'll see if they can do work for us, although they don't really have abilities, which is a little bit interesting. Um, I don't know why they have Randy Gregory at outside linebacker. He's definitely not an outside linebacker. He's in this wing pair, looking like a heavy run attack. And he's gonna give it to Robinson on the ground. Let's talk about the Jaguars. Jaguars in real life have been really good. Trevor Lawrence is a lot of fun to watch. Um, if you guys have not been paying attention, he's been a lot of fun to watch. Uh, he's my QB in fantasy because I had um, nice cut there. I had Trey Lance in fantasy at quarterback. He gets hurt. I had Trevor Lawrence as my backup, and he's been doing good for me, so I might as well keep rocking with him. Um, Trey Lance definitely had the upside, but looking back on it, probably should have taken a guy like Jalen Hurts, but... Uh, looks like he's going to go with a heavy run attack, so we'll start to address that by going to like a quarters. Um, but yeah, he's probably going to try and run the ball. We should have an advantage on that defensive line, so we'll see if we can put together some sheds from these boys. Although, uh, them getting rid of, I think, Shelby Harris at D tackles, not the best for Madden because he was, I think, he was a pretty good D tackle. Uh, I don't. If I was running any other play, I would be baseline press, but since I'm in quarters, I don't really like it. This guy has a pretty good run stick, and he's just going to continue to run the ball, so um, we'll definitely address that, which is what I said last play, but he's just going to stick in it. And there we go. See if he's going to pass now. Again, you just want to stay patient with these guys. You don't want to... Go too aggressive. So you see, I'm not running cover zero. I'm just saying into my scheme. I don't have a match on right now, which could be a problem. He still could run the ball here. Oh, and the RPO got me. Nice tackle by Sertan. Oh my God. If that was, I thought he was going to the flat, not the streak. I was so close to baiting that. I had a feeling he was going to do something like that. Do it again, Drew, bro. Just keep running it. See what happens. How did he shovel pass that fast? Every time it's ever a shovel pass, it's usually slow. Um. That's a pick. 
Oh my god, bro. How is that a touchdown? That should be a pick six every time. Not a pick six. That should be a pick every time. He literally was not open. I knew he was going to throw it to him the moment he snapped the ball because he saw that I was using the safety and he just threw the tight end off streak and assumed I was going to bite down on the flag or something like I did the previous play. I knew that he audible to a pass play because the wide receivers and running backs shifted. I wasn't familiar with that formation, so I didn't know he was in an RPO, but it definitely should have been an interception. Um, can't do much about that. I'm just unfortunate we had Kareem Jackson. I thought he was better than that, but it is what it is. I mean, yeah, you can't do much about that, so. <laughs> I threw that so late, that was my bad. <laughs> well, we'll get we'll get it back. Um I don't know what I was expecting. Uh, I threw that super late. I had to throw that earlier. I don't even know what I was looking at, but that was way too late. You have to snap throw it. I was expecting that guy, I guess, just to go upfield, but that was just a terrible read. Um, fair play to him. So we'll get it back right here. Um, just probably doing a little bit too much on offense. Just need to simplify it even more than I have been. We have been simplifying it, but probably simplified even more now that that happened. Holy crap, what is that blocking? How is he just disengaging me straight up? Come on. That time we threw it earlier. That's the adjustment, just have to throw it a little bit earlier. Tried it. You just don't have a good enough tight end. If that, if, I wish that was in the receiver spot. The post route right here, and then I could streak the tight end, but you just can't really run that. Maybe if I flipped it, it would be a little bit better. But. He's usually in the slot corner, which is interesting. Nice dot there to KJ Hamler. He's staying in cover three, so you motion out the streak. That's going to open it up. If it's cover two, you don't have to motion over the streak, but nice dot there by Russ. And we're in a good position here. We want to probably take the rest of the quarter and then score a touchdown. Uh, of course, he gets ball at half, so we got to put together a stop at some point, but I'm fairly confident we can do that. Just need some better defensive coverages than we've had. Um, on offense, we played pretty good just besides that one mistake, so... This is man coverage, looks like. Nice catch, Sutton. Get off me.
So we're going to go aggressive here. We're going to chew clock and we're just going to run a fullback dive probably. Fullback dive isn't a guaranteed touchdown. It looks like the formation he is in is kind of allowing it. Um, we're going to take all the time. If we don't score, I'm fine with that. I'll just QB sneak it and then we'll get in. But yeah, so that's fine. We moved closer actually and we get to take a little bit more time. I'm not going to take all of the time, but definitely take a lot here. Um, we have two timeouts, so we can definitely manage this pretty ideally. So I'm gonna call a timeout at 13 seconds. It would have taken another five seconds to get to the line, snap the ball, which we still have three plays at the line of scrimmage. So of course we don't wanna do that. QB sneak's probably just the best play, and especially this. Looks like it should be a walk-in. Fullback dive would work here too, but we should just get in. Yeah, Russ. Now we're just gonna sky kick it. He'll have nine seconds left. So pretty perfect management. I would have called a timeout if I was him for sure, but Yes, he didn't recognize what we were doing, and we end up getting into the end zone. So good bounce back drive for sure. Um, again, just one simple mistake on the wheel route. Corrected it, and uh, we ended up scoring the touchdown. So we're going to sky kick here. And similar to the Bills Chiefs situation, there's 12, 13 seconds left. Sky kick will take um, a certain amount. Now, of course, if you're running in real life, you would squid kick it probably, but then you can't really fall on it you of course have to be touched uh, or run out of bounds so it's definitely different there we go now we get some pressure and that'll end the half so 14 14 not my best half but Overall, we played good on offense besides that stupid pick six. Um, it's all right. Um, see if we can get a stop defensively, which we should be able to. If you're wondering what, I'm, wondering what I'm doing, I'm just defending the inside run and running inside. No other penalties. We don't want, you know, the worst short coverage and all that stuff. And he's running the ball inside anyway, so pretty smart to me. Since he did have a bad return on that first kick where we kicked it to the end zone, we're just going to do that again, assuming that he does it. So see what he rocks with. And yeah, same result. So again, just recognizing his tendencies, he's going to return it from there. And it's probably not the best idea to do that. So no, of course he runs it right at me. How the frick is my wrists, my corners are getting bullied by his wide receivers. I mean, there's no chance. There's no hope at all of defending it. I was all over that even if he threw it. I think we just gotta make him pass overall. Last time he ran this, he ran a um, run play. Oh, got me with that play action. How is the quarter flat not defending the zig? Dude, come on. You should be defending that. I didn't even get the baseline off. You were standing on the right side. You should be established out there so easily, bro. Come on. There we go. I ran commit there, not gonna lie. I figured that had to have been some kind of a run play, so we ran commit. This linebacker sucks, by the way. <laughs> There's no way he placed the ball right there when that one spot that I just could not get it. That's so stupid. All right, got to hold him to three here, uh, which we should be able to. He hasn't done much in the red zone besides that stupid pass. 
I want to call a timeout. He just keeps going no huddle because I want to get this. How did Pat Sertan get beat that badly? I was not against just raising. Maybe it's because I was baselined. I don't think I was auto baseline. Maybe I just baselined. Um, so I did have him manned up. That could have been my fault, but uh, to get beat that badly, I didn't think he was out of position though when I looked at it. I'm not even sure what happened. This is just, that's wild. He also threw a pick on the curl, so let's just not ignore that. He's thrown two interceptions. They both just resulted in points for him on the drive, so that's pretty cool. Oh, get off me, Javante is a grown man. Get off me again. Let's go, Javante. I want to get these linebackers spread out a little, so we're going to audible the spread. I don't know why it flips. I audible to the wrong formation. Course was man coverage. I thought that was cover three for sure, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, it's because spreads four wide receivers. I didn't put Judy back in. How is he playing that? What zone is that that's just playing it? What am I watching? I know that that's from the running back blocking, but he's just over there on the right side, just automatically defending it. He should be in an inside third. No. I mean, am I wrong for that? Like, what? Oh my God, he got bagged. <laughs> I had to take the hit stick there, I'm not gonna lie. I still have, I'm on aggressive, that should've been a fumble. There's no two tight end. Let's go, put him up. One stop, baby, we should one stop. He ran commit. Um, I probably should audible to dive, but we pick it up anyway. So definitely take that. That's why you get a Javante Williams, gonna break tackle, he's gonna fall forward. And I definitely should have fumbled with Russell Wilson, I'll admit that, but I'll take it when I can get it. He's thrown probably two picks this game and they've both been catches, one for a first down, one for a touchdown. So I think we're pretty even there. Um, see if we can put together a stop, man, because the only he's gonna he's playing with some fire. We gotta make him pay. First step's gonna be stopping the ground game. 
I need to see what the problem was with Sertan getting beat that badly because I want to run that man coverage shell. I'm going to move Simmons over to that right side specifically to run that man coverage on that right side just based on how he's been playing. So that's exactly what we're going to try and do here. Um, 15 yard line again. Could actually hurt us if he's able to drive the length of the field. I don't believe he is able to. It's got to be someone better. Just Single back bunch. Let's go, we're all over that. We've been stopping him on first down recently, pretty consistently. Play action here. Oh my God, I wasn't even watching it. He had the touchdown right on the other side. No idea what route that was based on the player. Was it a slant or something? I have no idea what you put there. Oh my God, bro. Our defensive line is getting bullied that badly. We have everyone in the box and no one gets through. I understand he's in this certain set, but come on, bro. All right, it's going to be third down. This is the most important play of the game. Um, giving up that big play might have not been the worst thing in the world, considering you can't run us out of time, which is big. Bunch tight end. What am I playing right now, bro? There's no way you quick snap a flat right into my quarter flat and he didn't react. I understand the same thing happened to me, but he's throwing 20 interceptions. I threw the one. It goes straight through me. Thankfully, he has to run a play before the two-minute warning. He is inside the 10. We got to stand up here. I'm going to go flat zero. He hasn't. He quick snaps it to the flat every play. I'm run committing here. Run commit right. If you pass the ball, you can have it. We score, then we'll go for two. I'm spamming A, there's no way you just broke my tackle like that. Not sure where my quarter flat is out there. Once again, quarter flat is just not out there. I mean, I guess I forgot to shade underneath. That's my fault. I got to run commit again. If you pass the ball, you can have it. Get you in the box. Let's go. Hold the door, baby. Let's see what you're going to do. RPO. It's taking a lot of time for this decision. Could be a pass play. Shading underneath, manning up him. Let's go, man. Hold the door. Good D. I don't know why you would go to shotgun. You could have just ran the ball. You probably would have got it. Now we got to get seven. Let's go. Perfect. 
picture perfect coverage, flats on zero. Judy, get out of bounds. Woo. Good play. He was he, he blitzed everybody. He left himself in man coverage against Judy, which I'm going to try and just streak him if he's going to do that. This is probably zone, but... I'd be... I actually do like this formation a lot though. I, I do think it's pretty cool. I didn't know it was this different from what I remember it just being the PA post shot. Um, but it's pretty cool. It's been pretty good. Obviously besides the pick six. Cover three, could be man coverage. We're gonna cover all our bases. It's gonna be cover three. We're gonna have Judy. Aggressive catch. That was a little bit of a tighter throw. We did aggressive catch. Almost in field goal range here. Let's see when he starts calling his timeouts. He does have all three, so if he stops us, he could get the ball back potentially, but that is a big if. And we're gonna run down some clock here. He's gonna blitz everybody here. Javante. Timeout. I just forgot. I'm literally still on aggressive. Going conservative. Late timeout. I was expecting him to take that earlier. We're gonna pass here. I still have the option to run the ball if it's wide open. He's gonna go to nickel. Man coverage, we think. I like Javante here, I'm not gonna lie. Judy. And we're just gonna run out the clock pretty much here. He was covering the wheel route with his user. It's a very good thing I didn't throw that. We're gonna run the timeout, kick a field goal, and it should be game. He's gonna burn his last timeout. We'll take the rest of the time off the clock just to be safe. I was assuming he would have iced us, but that's not gonna ice us. So even if he did call that timeout three seconds, I was gonna run another play, spike it. And just kick the game winning field goal here. Good come from behind win. We put together that goal line stand, very big. Good on offense besides that pick six. And yeah, overall pretty good fun scheme. I would recommend you guys to run it. Try it out for yourselves. Again, run and gun playbook. And let's put in this field goal. Put him up. GG's to my opponent. He was pretty good. He played well. Um, his scheme was interesting. He threw a couple of picks. It's multiple, not a couple, three picks. That should have been picks, but we end up getting the job done. And overall, good video, good entertaining video. We at least didn't have to get this guy to quit. 
And uh, yeah, overall, if you guys enjoyed, make sure you drop a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel down below, and peace. I'm out of here.